don't worry this is not a no audio video I'm just checking the mic make sure my mic is on and it is so all right let's get started fear force gather around for another spy chilling episode of horror fest as always to be host puffer guys and okay so took my short break and I'm ready to start a new video okay so so I just thought it, uh, okay so I'm recording and and well with the bad weather there is such bad weather out here um internet's not gonna be its best I suspected but but I found a way to do this without doing mobile videos unless you want me to do a mobile video and I I can do that if you want me to okay so I was worried about uploading videos directly to the ps4 because i know they don't have the best picture but when i did the until dawn video and got it uploaded i saw it not too bad of a picture so it's just like any of my other videos that i stream so i figured i might as well just do that the only bad thing is that i have to keep my ps4 on so it can upload the video which is kind of annoying but, you know, okay, so anyway, let's get started. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I meant to do this a few days ago, but the internet kept giving me the the message that we all hate, that being that the internet's not sufficient for the stream to go smoothly. Well, it doesn't say that word for word, but you know what I mean. Um, so, I'm going to record it instead. Alright, so, here we go. We're going to go and do the side stories for today. We are going to be doing trust. Begin. Okay, good. It did not save from last time when I tried it earlier, um, earlier in the week. Alright. This is a side story. Yeah, it's a side story. It's just doing that for a reason. And I got my drink so that my throat won't get too dry. Got my juice right here. Apple juice is really good thirst quencher. Alright, so anyway. Alright. Here, okay, since I'm not going live, um, if you have any feedback about the voices I do for these characters, let me know. Um, I know you guys have been doing that, and I appreciate it. Just, just ask me. If you want me to change the voice of someone, let me know. Alright, here we go. Okay, everyone! The Loser Club is starting! Let's all have speak- Let's all- blah, 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 blah. I speak gibberish now! Let's all have a seat and take attendance today! Ugh... I miss the bait club. Who knew it would be so difficult to start a new club? I feel worse with every day that passes without anyone coming in. I'm really starting to lo lose confidence. Oh, so this is like a prequel of how the Literature Club started, isn't it? Monica is the only member of the Literature Club. Or is this like... Hmm. Is this a prequel or is this just like a different universe where like Monica's not evil and stuff? I don't know. In the days that have passed, all of her efforts to recruit new members have been fruitless. Am I going about this wrong? Monica glances at one of her flyers. The headline is, Do you like literature? Maybe nobody is into literature enough to pick it over the, the, the... What? Oh yeah, it is pick it over. Pick it over their other club interests. I'm sorry for messing up <laughs> so many times, guys. It's so early on in the video, too. I can't just rely on people liking literature. I need to sell them from a vision. A vision. But what kind of vision? Monica rests her head on her desk, deep in thought. But before she realizes it, the recent nights of staying up too late start to catch up to her. It's so quiet, and the noise of the air conditioner is soothing. Um... We don't know who it is yet, guys, so I'm just gonna use my regular voice. 
Hello? Hey, Sayori! Suddenly a voice causes Monica to snap away. Oh! Oh my gosh! I'm so sorry! I never do this! <laughs> Is this a napping club? I'm sorry my voice cracks. <laughs> No, this is... Monica pauses, suddenly embarrassed to admit that this is, in fact, the Literature Club. This is the Literature Club! Yay! I thought it was wrong for a sec! I'm super sorry. It was, like, so unprofessional of me to do that. Don't apologize! I do that all the time! How? Um, can I the club meeting? Where is everybody? Well, about that. This is everybody. Really? Just you? But we're getting more members. I'm working really hard on it. Hold on a sec! If it's just you... That means I get to be vice president! Wait. Vice president? Um, what are your qualifications? Well, I'm better at napping than you! Me, I should be president! Now you're just making fun of me. Oh, I'm sorry! Um, what's, what was your name? Sayori! Okay, Sayori. I've been trying really, really hard on this club. I know you caught me at a weird time, but it's really disheartening not to be taken seriously, you know? I care so much about this. I just want to find other people who do too. Oh no! I'm so sorry! I do care, I promise! I have a hard, I have a hard time being serious, that's all! I didn't mean for it to hurt you! I was joking about the vice president thing too! I would make a terrible vice president! I mean, I'm sure that... Monica tries to say something reassuring, but it's difficult when she doesn't know much about Sayori. I'm sorry that this isn't like a real club yet. Would you still be interested in joining after I found a few members at least? Well, no! I want to join now! Really? Yeah! It sounds like a lot of fun! Besides, I can tell how hard you've been working! You're doing something amazing and you should be proud of it, you know? So let me help you turn something stressful into something fun! If nothing else, I'm good at that, so... <laughs> Honestly, how could I possibly say no to that? That's really sweet of you, Sayori! Oh, I'm Monica, by the way. Monica! That's such a cool name! Oh, now you're just trying to cheer me up. But you're smiling! Well, I didn't say it didn't work. Monica glances at the flyer at her desk and realizes that her name is already written on it. So what do we do first? Well, it's getting pretty late, isn't it? We need to go home and try to come up with some new ideas to recruit club members. I can do that! Cool! And I think I need to put some more thought into my vision for the club. You know, like, a mission. My mission is to make everyone happy! <laughs> yeah, something like that. I need to think about it. Hey! Do you like hugs? I guess so? The Ori suddenly pulls Monica into a friendly hug. Then let's go. Wait, what? Some people could just really use a hug sometimes. Besides! The Ori whispers wildly. Hug energy! Hug energy! It's what keeps me at my bed! <laughs> hug energy! Monica laughs. 
Although Sayori is very different from her, Monica feels her spirits lifted. Maybe it's just because she finally found another club member. But... Well, I'm looking forward to tomorrow then. It'll be fun! Yeah! I'm excited! I'm gonna think really hard tonight about how to get more people! Yeah, me too! Wait a minute. Oh, okay. For a minute there, I thought it was the end already. A day passes, and the time comes for the literature club. Monica and Sayori to reconvene. As president, Monica ensures that she's the first to arrive to the club room. But she finds herself waiting longer than expected for Sayori. It's been 10 minutes already! Maybe Sayori changed her mind about joining! No, that can't be! She was so excited yesterday! But I'm getting kinda worried! Suddenly, Sayori comes, bowing through the door. In her hand, she's holding a sheet of paper. Sorry I'm late! I'm here! It's okay. Welcome back! And... Sayori spins over to Monica and deposits the sheet into Monica's desk. Onto, sorry, onto. Oh, what's this? Hey, it's a poem! We get to read our po- We get to read poems as we do in this side story. Nice! Alright, here we go. Take my hand. Take my hand. Take me forward. Take me to your dreamland. Caution me to watch my steps so I can't look back at my footprints. Climb the stairs ahead of me while I look up to you. The more I look forward, the more I look up. The more I can lend to you. If you can trust me to follow your pace, I'll trust you to set it. If you can trust me to bend you a smile, I'll trust you to return it. Take my hand. Take me forward. Take me to your dreamland. Not bad. Not bad at all. Hey, this is really good. You wrote this, Sayori? Of course! Wait! Wait, no! That's the wrong side of the paper! Huh? I wasn't ready to share that yet! I'm so embarrassed! Monica flips over the paper. Right on the other side is a list of ideas for recruiting new club members. Oh! So this is what you meant to show me. But I'm curious now. Do you write poetry often? I do, but... I'm sure I'm not anywhere near as good as you are! <laughs> really? I'm actually terrible at writing poetry. I've never written anything I was happy with. Like, I always read it again a week after I write it, and I'm like... Wow, this is so stupid. I don't know. It's like the dramatic version of me doesn't agree with the person I want myself to be. Or something like that. Ah, You should have more confidence in yourself! You're the Lancer Club President! <laughs> I guess you're wrong there. Or did she say I guess you're not wrong there? Anyway, I need to like, set a good example or whatever. Hmm, you know, I can envision the club doing something like that. Doing what? You know, like sharing poems we write and stuff like that. Oh, yeah! I would love that! It's such a good way to learn about other people, you know? It's like, we have so many emotions that we can't express to other people, usually. But you can when it's a poem, right? Yeah! I think it's helping me form a more cohesive vision for the club. So, so I'm glad you showed me, well, even though it was by accident. Me too! I felt embarrassed at first, but now it feels a uh, blah 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 blah. It feels kind of good that someone else read it. <coughs> Give me a minute. Alright. I'll try to show you more of them in the future! I love that! Oh jeez, I'm very- I'm getting distracted. 
you want to go over this recruitment brainstorm together? My brainstorm so hard! It was like a brain hurricane! My brain is a natural disaster! <laughs> Fiori, that's terrible. Anyway, let's take a look at the list. Make cupcakes. I was hungry! It was a good idea! Isn't it? Hey, it worked on us, did it? <laughs> um... Let me think about this. I mean... When would we have the chance to give people cupcakes? You know, like when they come into the club! What if we said we had free cupcakes on the flyers? I'm like... Kind of worried that would bring in the wrong kinds of people, you know? Wrong kinds? People would come just for the cupcakes and then leave. Uh-huh! Nobody would do that! That would be me! But, you know, I want to find people who are really into literature. Even if they don't know it yet. Let's see, the next thing on the list... Hunt for people getting books. I don't think I get it. Like, going around the school and finding people who are reading books, you know? Like in the morning or during lunch. And we tell them to check out the Lancer Club. Well, the problem with that is like, wouldn't most people reading books just be doing it for an assignment or something? How would we know if they're just reading for fun? Um, well, we could a <clears throat> Um, well, we could ask them. But then we'd be bothering people who are trying to do schoolwork. I didn't think about that part. I'm sorry. You're coming up with a lot more things than I can. Oh, your next idea is hand out flyers, rather than just put them on the wall. I definitely like to start doing that. I'm useful! <laughs> I, never, I never said you weren't. I just need to think. What would we tell people when handing them out? I don't... Wanna just be like, join the literature club. Let's figure out what we can better engage people. What if you told them about the club activities and stuff? What club activities? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to be my job to come up with that, right? A vision for the club. Okay, Sayori, I pretend you're a normal person for a second. Wait. I didn't mean it like that. <laughs> you know, like a random passerby who's getting a flyer. How would you react to the idea of a literature club? Hmm. Probably like... Literature is stupid! I'm joining the anime club! What the heck? <laughs> Sorry, I was just thinking of a friend of mine. Oh my gosh! Wait, we- wait, video game me the- I don't think literature is stupid, I like reading. Video game me is such an opposite. Alright. Okay, what if we said that we, like, it together. I would probably not do that. That's you, Sayori. Yeah, but that doesn't really sound fun to most people anyway. We didn't really catch their interest, you know? Uh, this sucks. Why is this so hard? Monica, don't be sad. What do you like about Larger, Sayori? Me? Well, kind of what I said about the poem earlier. I think it gives you the chance to express yourself. Like, express yourself in ways that you can't normally do. When you're just doing your normal day and talking to your friends. I mean, we 
all have many thoughts and feelings that we're just don't get to share, you know? It's like intimate. Yeah. How do we get that across to people? We can be like, express your true self. We, we intimate with us. Okay, that's kind of... <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh my gosh! What? What is it? I forgot all my things in my classroom. I must have gotten too excited and what's here silly me? Raj. But what? And my phone. dashes out of the room, leaving Monica momentarily alone. Monica sighs and starts jotting her thoughts on a, piece of, on a sheet of paper. Express yourself. Be who you want to be. Make new friends. Discover a new you. Discover your heart. No. Write your heart out. No. Right into your heart. Right the way it right the way into your heart. Join the litter club. Right the way into your heart. Wow. That's lame. Monica! Ah! You startled me. Sorry. But it's something important. On the way to my classroom. There was a girl reading a book! Reading a book? Let's hurry and recruit her! Wait, are you sure she thought she's doing homework? I could tell she was really into it! Um... I, well, I guess we could take a look. Monica grabs one of her flyers and stands up on her desk, from her desk. Then the two depart the classroom, with Sayori leading the way. This way! You don't have to run! Sayori leads Monica into a particular classroom, then lowers her voice to a whisper. See in here! Monica peers through the window. Sure enough, there's a girl sitting alone, intently reading a book. I feel like a creep doing this. You should go inside and talk to her! Me? You're the president! I would probably scare her away! Okay, fine. I'll do it. Monica takes a deep breath, then timidly enters the classroom. That was bad! Oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed. Why? What happened? Um... Well, I entered the classroom, and she didn't even look up from her book. So I kind of just left the fly on her desk, then, and then walked out. <laughs> That's kind of cute. But I'm sure she'll see I want to join the club. I hope so. Shall we head back now? The two head back to the classroom, Fiori, feel, Fiori feeling rather accomplished, and Monica still feeling a bit embarrassed by the encounter. Upon returning, Monica and Fiori resumed their strategy meeting. They discussed various different kinds of recruitment tactics, from professional to silly. After going through Fiori's list, and with Monica coming up with ideas of her own, the two ended in a better spot than from when they began. Well, I would say today was pretty productive, wasn't it? Yeah! I think we're starting to make progress! 
I can't wait to get new members! Hey, what's this? Siori peers at the sheet of paper Monica was jotting on earlier. Oh, don't mind that. I was just thinking to myself. Join the literature club. Right the way into your heart. That's so cute. <laughs> I thought it was a little overdramatic. But... Siori pauses and thinks for a moment. You know... I don't think you give yourself enough credit. Wait, what do you mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like I can tell from talking to you today. It seems like you're always afraid of doing something wrong. Yeah, but... Would you call yourself a perfectionist? Oh, that's me 100%. Oh, that's definitely me. I am a total perfectionist. Oh, man. It's like Siori's talking to me, guys. Legit. Yeah. Yeah, I definitely am. I mean, I always have an idea in my head of how I wanted things to go. Same here. Same here. And it's like, I can't accept anything less than that. Whoop, I pressed the wrong button. Sorry. But I think at the end... It helps me try my hardest at everything, so I don't think it's that bad. Like with this club, we have such an opportunity to make it into exactly how we envision it. But it feels like we only have one shot at it. So, I'm just really afraid of it deviating from that. The vision. What's the vision? It... Monica pauses the thing. Then shakes her head to herself. She sighs. I don't know. I just want everything to... Everyone to... Monica trails off. Smiling, Siori taps her finger against the sheet of paper. Right the way into your heart. I think what you're trying to do... Is to make the club what you need the most out of anyone. Well, you're the one who knows yourself the best, of course. But, I'm here to help you. Monica returns to Yori's smile. That's, it's sort of amazing how kind you are. We're really going to make this the best club ever. Siori nods, and the two remain silent for a moment, lost in thought. The only sound is the steady whisper of the air conditioner. And the only movement is the afternoon sunlight, trickling its way in and out of the moving clouds. Siori breaks the moment with a big yawn. Ah, time to go home. You tell me, you're the president. <laughs> in that case, today's meeting is officially over. I look forward to tomorrow. Me too. Siori beams and grabs her thing. You can go ahead. I need a few minutes still. Oh, I can wait. That's alright. I just want some alone time. Hmm, in that case... Siori waves enthusiastically at Monica. Good luck! Monica smiles and waves in return as Siori spins her way out of the club room. All alone... She sighs to herself. It takes a minute to zone out. She wasn't prepared for the self-reflection encouraged by Sayori, but she decides it was something she probably needed right about now. The club that I need the most? I don't get it. I just wanted to start a club with more passion. Something that I could use to help lead people to happiness. Literature is the key to that. Because it's the window to the real person inside of us. Underneath the person who's forced to always smile and blend in. The person who's forced to be. Perfect. Hmm? 
Monica suddenly notices a folder on the floor by her desk. Did she already leave this behind? I hope it doesn't have her homework in it. Worried, Monica opens the folder to check. Poems. It's a folder of poems. What? Become the flower. A feeling of joy is a flower plucked from the ground. The color, the scent, it's so pretty in my hair. Every day, I pluck some flowers, as though they grew just for me. A lifetime of peace and nourishment, yanked away in an instant. All for me, all for joy. I need more, I need more joy. I need more happy. Pluck, 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 every day. Pluck, 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 so pretty in my hair. Pluck, 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 you're going to die. And you too. Beneath my feet, a flower stands alone. It beckons to me. I twist the stem, freeing it from the clinging roots, caressing the final joyous moment between my fingers. But to what end? I look in every direction, in the field I stand in. I pros the prosperous field is a barren wasteland. The fruits of my labor the corn the carnage of my joy and that is why i've decided i must become the flower what the wait theory whoa okay that 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 did not take as long as i thought but i wish it went longer to be honest with you guys wow Wow, I mean, you, you don't really do anything other than read, but wow, that was great. That was great. Oh my gosh. When you think Doki Doki can't pull your heartstrings more, even though it's a horror game, it just does more and more. Wow. All right, so, um, so first of all, I apologize that this can't be live. I apologize for that. Um, but, um, if the weather is good tomorrow and if the PS4 will be cooperative tomorrow, hopefully the three videos that I promised to do on Sunday will be live. Alright, so, if you want me to do some more Doki Doki stories, I will, but you just have to tell me if I have to, like, to play the entire game all over again. To unlock the other three, or if it, let me check actually. I want to see if it unlocked part two by just doing that. Oh, never mind, never mind, never mind, guys. Never mind, we're all good, we're all good, we're all good. All right, so part two is unlocked, so never mind. So, never mind. All right, so if you want me to do some more Doki Doki side stories, let me know in the comments. And if you, okay, if you do it, if you give me a comment today, the earliest I can do that would be Monday, because like I said before, um, I don't really do back to back like for example I don't do Doki Doki for two videos in a row unless it's um a coincidence or something like that. Um so that is all for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And since this is a pretty good since this is a I would like to reveal the three games or videos depending uh, that I might be doing, unless you guys have any um, other games you want me to do. I just want to check. Yes, I added Days Gone and Ghostbusters. I want to see if I forgot any others. Um, making sure horror challenge horror stories by new game. I should add horror sketch since you guys like, since you guys told me to do some. Well, did one, so I might as well put that up there. Horror sketch. Well, it doesn't have to be horror. It just has to be Halloween themed. But you know what I mean. Okay, so, again, going to reveal the three videos that I might be doing. Because you guys, if you have uh, different ideas of what you want me to do, let me know. Alright, so, the, the, I'm going to do it in the order that it randomly chooses. And the first game, well, that's just, okay. I will be doing a horror mobile game first, apparently. So if there's a mobile horror game or Hallow or Halloween based or horror based game that you want me to do on my mobile phone, let me know in the comments below. 
All right, if it goes to mobile game again, it'll just have to be a different mobile game. All right, video number two. Hmm, don't know how I'm gonna do that. All right, all right, guys. Um, horror stories, horror stories. I could probably do a horror story. Okay, so that really depends. If you want me to do a horror, if you want me to make up my own horror story off the fly, let me know. That's basically what it is. Um, or if you want me to tell a story, or if you want me to tell a story that you created, let me know. I'll be sure to give a call out of the creator of said horror story. So yeah, just make sure you send me like a picture of it. I'll be sure to find a way to if you want it's if you want but it, I can do an original one if you want me to do that make one of my own I can probably do that I have one in my head ooh this should be a heck of a way to end things and video number three ladies and gentlemen is Ghostbusters we are gonna be doing Ghostbusters the video game next now like I said if there's um I'm gonna do it in that order so if there's a different video you want me to do say replace whichever one so like for example if you don't want me to do a horror mobile game just say replace mobile horror game with and video idea you want me to do instead all right so that is all guys thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video or live stream depending so remember fear is everywhere <laughs>